left a familiar face in just released body camera video. Deputy with the sheriff's office, really nice to talk to you. This guy's going about over 90 miles an hour, weaving through traffic, not using you guys' turn signals. Behind the wheel, the DPS director pulled over for speeding. And after Colonel Frank Milstead showed the Yavapai County deputy his badge, he was let go with just a warning. He was going about 90 miles an hour when he was stopped, and tonight we're finding out speed alone should have gotten him a misdemeanor. Our Kim Powell spoke with a lawyer tonight about how this all works, and what did you find out, Kim? Well, exceeding 85 miles per hour is automatically a Class 3 misdemeanor, and according to the deputy in the video, Colonel Frank Milstead was going well over 90. But a criminal defense attorney says in the end, law enforcement has a tremendous amount of discretion when it comes to citing people for violations. When this Yavapai County Sheriff's deputy pulled over a Land Rover on I-17 in October, he had no idea who was at the steering wheel. Deputy with the Sheriff's Office, really nice to talk to you. This guy's going about over 90 miles an hour, weaving through traffic, not using you guys' turn signals. Colonel Frank Milstead, the director of DPS, and his fiance explained they were heading up to Flagstaff for a memorial hike. Uh, an officer was killed in line of duty. Oh, wow, well, I appreciate you guys doing that. As the deputy walked back to his car, he got called back, and Milstead handed him his DPS ID. Yeah, I don't know if that'll help at all. What is it? You're a... Uh... He's the colonel. He runs DPS. Oh. Oh, well, pledge of Michigan. My first reaction is, well, he's the director of DPS. Of course he's not getting a ticket. Criminal defense attorney Russ Richelsoff said under Arizona law, Milstead should have received a Class 3 misdemeanor given his speed. A criminal traffic violation is generally if you are exceeding 35 miles an hour in a school zone, um, going 20 miles per hour over the posted speed limit, or exceeding 85 miles an hour. The deputy only gave him a warning. I appreciate the break. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. No worries. I'm just educating, you know, just kind of, well, you know, it's perfect to the stock. I'm not surprised. I, I think that um, police officers, uh, you know, give each other professional courtesies all the time. So um, I think it's shocking that he got caught. And Milstead released a statement tonight saying in part, I recognize the seriousness of the speeding violation for which I was stopped, and I, deep, I am deeply regretful. Irrespective of my position, my adherence to all laws is imperative, and on the day in question, I was in violation. As part of that lengthier statement, I think he said is statistically they let about 30% of people go with just mm -hmm. a warning. Regardless, I was looking at our social media response on our Facebook page. Put that Yavapai County deputy in a really weird position, didn't well, it? Well, and, and somebody was mentioning you'd be hard-pressed to find mm -hmm. any deputies uh, who would have given him a ticket. Yep. Right, and that uh, defense attorney also mentioned he's never seen anyone go from a criminal ticket to a warning. It mm -hmm. might get talked down to a civil citation, but he's never seen it go from criminal to warning. And that's because he was going 90. That yeah. would be the misdemeanor there. I wonder what would have happened if yeah. the colonel said, you know what, I'm in the wrong, give me the ticket. Yeah. You're supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. But like you said, they have a lot of discretion yeah. to make those decisions. Interesting to see the video. Kim, thanks.